Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna make a universal battery charger. With this battery charger, we can charge batteries from 4 volt up to 18 volt. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect a 3-pin terminal block and connect its center pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect to 10 A10 diodes and connect their cathode together and their anodes to pin number 1 and pin number 3 of 3-pin terminal block. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to cathode of diode and its negative pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect to D1047 transistors and connect pin number 2 of first transistor to cathode of diodes and its pin number 3 to pin number 2 of second transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect LM317 IC and connect its pin number 2 to pin number 1 of first transistor and its pin number 3 to pin number 2 of first transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of LM317 regulator and its other pin to pin number 1 of LM317 regulator. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K potentiometer and connect its one side pin to pin number 1 of the regulator and its center pin and other side pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect BD140 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 3 of first transistor and its pin number 2 to pin number 1 of second transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect 12 volt regulator and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 2 of first transistor and its pin number 2 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 22 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to pin number 1 of 12 volt regulator and its negative pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of 12 volt regulator and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of 12 volt regulator and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 22 microfarad capacitor 
and connect its positive pin to pin number 3 of 12 volt regulator and its negative pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect triple five timer IC and connect its pin number eight to pin number three of 12 volt regulator and its pin number one to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number two of triple five timer IC and its other pin to pin number eight of triple five timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect another 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 6 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 47K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 8 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to pin number 4 of 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 2 to ground and its pin number 4 to pin number 3 of first transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to pin number 1 of optocoupler. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to anode of LED. After that, I'm gonna connect another LED and connect its anode to pin number 3 of 12 volt regulator. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of second LED and its other pin to pin number 3 of 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of BD140 transistor and its other pin to pin number 3 of PC817 optocoupler. After that, I'm gonna connect LN393 IC and connect its pin number 4 to ground and its pin number 8 to pin number 3 of 12 volt regulator. After that, that, I'm gonna connect 1N4007 diode and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of LM393 IC and its anode to pin number 4 of 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3.3K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 8 of LM393 IC and its other pin to pin number 3 of LM393 IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 volt Zena diode and connect its cathode to pin number 3 of LM393 IC and its anode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K potentiometer and connect its center pin to pin number 2 of LM393 IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to pin number 3 of second transistor and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect 4.7K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 3 of second transistor and its other pin to remaining pin of 10K potentiometer. So our project is completed. Let's calculate the cutoff voltage and charging voltage. The cutoff voltage is equal to battery voltage multiplied by 1.2 and the charging voltage is equal to battery voltage multiplied by 1.15. So the cutoff voltage for a 4 volt battery is gonna be 4.8 volt and the charging voltage is gonna be 4.6 volt. For 6 volt battery, the cutoff voltage is gonna be 7.2 volt and the charging voltage is gonna be 6.9 volt. For 8 volt battery, the cutoff voltage is gonna be 9.6 volt and the charging voltage would be 9.2 volts. For a 9 volt battery, the cutoff voltage is gonna be 10.8 volts and the charging voltage is gonna be 10.35 volts. For a 12 volt battery, the cutoff voltage is gonna be 14.4 volts and the charging voltage is gonna be 13.8 volts. For 18 volt battery, the cutoff voltage is gonna be 21.6 volts and the charging voltage is gonna be 20.7 volts. You can set cutoff voltage and charging voltage as per your requirement. Let's set the cutoff voltage and charging voltage for different batteries and charge them.